Hey everyone, so we have a lot of news to talk about today. For everyone wondering why SHIB keeps dropping, just compare daily and weekly charts for SHIB and Bitcoin below. And you can see Shiba Inu's price here. And obviously the whole market follows with this. Be sure to drop a like and I'll keep you updated with all the news. What we're seeing so far is a lot of news happening in the recent days. Now, if we check over here, you know, as Shiba Inu drops, so does Bitcoin. But we do have actually some positive news, both for Shiba Inu and both for Bitcoin and both for all other tokens that are in development right now. What goes down eventually goes back up. I'm holding out for five years down the road. Now my market stocks and I need to move it back up. These are ones that are hurting me. While stocks are rising, crypto has very volatile movements where it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. But hopefully in the future, we're finally going to be seeing that market recover and we're all going to be getting that reward. Now, there's a lot of tokens that still have a lot of potential. I think crypto is still super early. I think we're still going to be seeing a lot of updates, both for Shiba Inu, both for Bitcoin and for other coins I'm going to be talking about. The most important thing, Bitcoin is still evolving. The most important thing you have to remember right now is that Bitcoin is still in a big development that in the future has a lot of potential to grow. So if you check it over here, what factors are driving Bitcoin down? No FUD, please. And genuine question. And besides the usual, it's bear market right now and Chinese ban on miners. There's a lot of things affecting both Shiba Inu's price and both Bitcoin. Outside of the crypto sphere and forums, the talk in the regular financial market is the largely institutional investors and hedge funds are being pressured to bring crypto, mainly Bitcoin, into their holdings. That is something I'll be explaining later on. But obviously, as you can see here, uh, uh, they don't lose their share of client of this lucrative market. So the Bitcoin and both Shiba Inu and all other coins, as I was saying, is a huge, huge, huge market. For them to become market makers, they have to heavily under leverage or they could lose their Bitcoin shorts if the market takes a dive. Their price target for getting all in is around 20,000 Bitcoin. So right now, with Bitcoin being at 30,000, the institutions have not been that much into Bitcoin just yet. They have not invested that much and they have been trying since May when I first heard of this stock to drive the price down in order to build up their stock. However, as we've seen, we hit an iron wall at 30,000 Bitcoin repeatedly. Not sure how much longer they're willing to go, but there are many whales of buying Bitcoin in the millions of dollars at 30k and many more are lined up to buy if it drops below. So the whales are still around here. They're still buying from what we're seeing so far. It's a repeat GameStop, but on billions of dollars. So GameStop, what happened with GameStop is really GameStop was dying, but what ended up happening is the community. So you, you ended up buying more coins and you basically saved all of that or the bigger whales who put in millions just to show that crypto is not going anywhere. So the beauty around this is basically that we're seeing the same patterns. We're seeing Bitcoin dropping down as people started to sell out of FUD, out of the Chinese ban, and now they're buying in. But institutions still haven't bought in. And why is that? Because Bitcoin is not low enough. And same thing goes for SHIB. You know, they're trying to short SHIB even more. They're trying to lower it in prices even more before they end up buying it. It's a repeat of GameStop, but on billions of dollars level. Adding to the strength of the Iron Wall, a report last month stated that Bitcoin had the largest amount transfers to wallet in history. So crypto is still in very early stages from what we're seeing so far. Uh, that's really exciting to see because I do think other coins are going to be growing, not just crypt not just Bitcoin, not just Ethereum, not just Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu still gets a lot of updates. We got to be looking at this news right now, but this basically gives you a general idea of why Shiba Inu is falling down. It's not because it's a dead project. It's not because, you know, crypto is simply a Ponzi scheme. It's very simply put, we are seeing this every year, but this year it's for a different reason. It's just that Bitcoin is too high of a price for big institutions to come in who would put in like two, three billion dollars, maybe four billion dollars together and pump the market back up to 50, 60,000 per Bitcoin. So hopefully you can drop a like and subscribe for this type of news because this is really exciting. But we do have more news about this. The wait is over. The chosen game is Rocket League. Team, send your info to Shiba Stadium Gmail. And yeah, that's really exciting 
because events is what grows the Shiba Inu community. My son plays this, we'll check it out. So really exciting to see that, especially because the rewards are up to $10,000 for the three teams that are will win. Um, only eight teams will actually play, but if this is the first tournament, this will bring new investors in. This will bring the community together. Not a lot of events are happening like that in crypto. And with Shiba Stadium, that's the next big thing. We're going to be seeing one of the first esports games. Wouldn't it be exciting if at some point, you know, the rewards were $10,000 uh, for the first place, maybe $100,000 for the first place. Imagine how much that would bring in. But obviously, we have the budget now due to Shiba Swap. That's something really exciting to me from what I'm seeing. I really do like this idea from Shiba Stadium. But going on over here, we're going to be seeing... Look, look, you can even see the Shiba Inu logo over here on, on the Rocket League. So if your son plays this, you know, maybe he can win six $3,000 in ship. ship. Maybe can you win $1,000 in ship. Maybe he can win $6,000 in ship. So I'm really excited about this one. But if we check over here, the B World Conference is coming up on 28th of July. That will turn the market bullish. And it, it could, you know, actually do a lot of changes. What I like to see is while other coins have been falling, some coins that I'm going to be talking about in the future have been staying stable. Same goes for Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu has been very stable so far. And the Shiba Army doing our part and holding. Can't wait to return and pass the at its highest. I'm not definitely excited for that. You know, we got to reach those stages at 22 billion uh but we can see over here that shiba inu has been pretty stable so far and it's still higher than it was before its explosion so it's still a good price like it's this little uh cap over here but if we check at its highest we can still get back to this point we're not that far off we can go 6x again but here Shiba Inu do that to constant updates like Coinbase and everything else uh, st stayed stable. Now, Bitcoin falls to sixth for daily revenue, as we see over here. So Ethereum, Uniswap, Binance, Smart Chain, and Nave are all beating out Bitcoin by daily fee revenue. Obviously, I'll be going quickly through here because we do have some other news. But Bitcoin fundamentals in absolute freefall. The seventh crypto is flipping Bitcoin fees better, and it shows people are willing to pay to use Ethereum. So Ethereum has super high gas fees right now, which is completely fine, you know. That gives security, you know, people are ready to use Ethereum. But Uniswap, BCC, AV, Uniswap V2, SushiSwap all have huge fees, which huge revenue in fees. Don't get me wrong here. That's a good thing while Bitcoin is falling behind. So that's because institutions haven't been picking up. But Bitcoin slide down with the fees rang and come as Ethereum forthcoming upgrade sparked. Renewed speculation whether a leading crypto asset by market capitalization will be flipped amid the Ethereum to rollout. On Wednesday, crypto analyst Lark Davis tweeted bit data indicating that Ethereum's daily on-chain settlement value is trending at the triple that of a Bitcoin. Davis noted the increasing popularity of layer 2 scaling for solutions for Ethereum is likely to increase this disparity. I highly suspect this gap will increase now that we have layer 2 like optimi op optimism coming online. Ethereum is also bidding out the Bitcoin by total transaction by roughly 500%. So Ethereum tokens are going to be growing same as SHIB and the other token I'm going to be talking about uh, compared you know, to Bitcoin. Because there's a lot of tokens and a lot of coins that are going to be growing in the future from what I'm seeing so far. We can see Bitcoin over here you know, falling behind. Simply put, Ethereum is still getting updates and Bitcoin is not. And if Ethereum grows, so will SHIB and everything else. This is something I'll be talking in the next video, but Rothschild Investment Corp has increased its Bitcoin exposure by 300% since April, and they have bought more Bitcoin and Ethereum exposure via Grayscale despite the ongoing crypto market retreat. So big institutions still buying in on the dip. This is something I'll be talking in next time. But uh, just quickly to let you know that if institutions come in, that will hugely increase the market uh, by itself. So that's really exciting news. They have bought 3x the Bitcoin during the dip. So they're obviously buying in. A lot of uh, the whales are not buying yet or selling. So the small whales are buying, but the institutions are not buying yet. That's something you have to know. Now, we do need our own Shiba Island when Shiba Inu goes up. And I would be really excited for that. Look at how cute this is. But yeah, you would need a place to relax. Obviously, nobody's talking about crypto islands and how popular they're actually getting, which is super exciting to me because I got to talk about this. Look at this. So we already have the first Bitcoin enabled community on a small Caribbean island. That's being in the works. But we do have